Hello all. Before we begin the video, let's discuss Cloud Foundation. Cloud Foundation is the premier online training platform to help individuals and organizations gain knowledge and skills in the ever-growing cloud computing industry. In this tutorial video we will discuss about Salesforce Developer. Salesforce Developer is a platform that enables developers to create apps and services that run on the Salesforce cloud. It offers tools and resources for developing, testing, and deploying custom solutions on the Salesforce platform. Salesforce App Cloud, Visual Force, Apex, and APIs are all part of Salesforce Developer. The topics covered in this video are Interface and SQL SOQL Relationship between the object Database class in Salesforce Trigger Helper Types of Exception Overview on Visual Studio Code Lightning Design System And finally do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel and check out other videos related to the latest technologies on our Cloud Foundation channel. Contact us at India USA UK Sales at the rate cloudfoundation.com Let's get started. We will be just talking about enum data types. And then we will let me write a topic first, what we are discussing today. So it will be easy for me to go one by one. So basically today what I'm planning to cover. So today, today I will cover interface. Then I'm trying to cover this keyword. Then we will go for SOQL and SOSL. And we will just cover hold the thing here, okay? Yeah. Mm, yeah, and we have one more thing we will cover today. It is system class, not a big topic. So big topic will be your SOQL and SOSL. And oh, it is, okay? System class and method. Uh, I can't see a screen now because okay, 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 okay. Okay, let's see. So it is visible? Yeah, now it's visible. Yeah. yeah. So today I'm planning to cover your interface, this keyword SQL SSL, system class and methods. Okay. So let me start with interface today. So interface is like a abstraction abstraction in Apex language. So basically it is used when you want the method should be work differently for different purposes. For example, if I say I have a multiple customer in my Salesforce, right? I have a multiple customer and each customer have his own value. Some customer are premium, some customer are normal. So and for the premium customer, I want uh, the discount should be more. And for the normal customer, I want that discount should be, means the discount which given to premium should not be given to my local customer. So for that purpose, I will just create a function. It will be usable by, by the premium also, by the customer also, local customer also. But mm -hmm. point will be, they will be just making their body differently for example I, if i say if i say my customer okay i have a customer one and two okay both are my customer and you went to solve and one my one customer is a daily customer so i want to give 50 percent discount to my daily customer okay and second is my customer who comes not regularly sometimes it comes so i want to give a 25% discount. Mm -hmm. So, but the logic is the logic behind is giving the discount to the customer only, right? We are giving mm -hmm. a discount to a customer, but it is a it is a different different discount. Someone will get 50% of discount and someone will get 25 discount. So what we will do, we will create a one single method. I will say single method I will create. Single method I will create and I will say interest 
or I will say discount. Let me say discount. So I'm saying, okay, I have a method called discount. Okay. And this method will be used by this customer also and this customer also. But while this customer will be using this method, he will give me, give me 50% discount. And this method will give me 25% of discount. So basically we are for what is the purpose of this interface is that we are doing the abstraction. And second thing, we are creating a single method. I mean, it is a re reusable. For example, if I if I want to create a 50% discount for a premium and 25% discount, 25% discount for the normal customer. So what I have to do, if I have not used interface, I will create a method discount here and I will create a method discount here and use that in the, I mean, in, in both class, I have to create this method. Okay, mm -hmm. so basically now if I say, okay, let me say new Apex class. Mm. You need to share the screen. Okay. Let, say, let me, why it is not sharing? Sale sound. Just give me one minute now. Okay, it is not giving. It is visible, right? I don't know why it is not giving a permission to see it. Interface. Interface demo. Okay. Interface demo. So let me create an interface. I will just do it. So basically, what I will do here, I will create an interface. I will say, just give me one, just like this. I will say public interface, interface demo for discount. Okay. <laughs> so I'm creating a interface. So interface, whenever we are creating a method inside an interface, so it will not, your, it will not have your body. It will have only signature. For example, I want to say, if I will say, let me close this also. If I say public and I want to give, let me go, sorry, double, okay, discount percentage so what i'm saying this is my method mm -hmm. okay this method i'm saying i it will be used by everyone but for a different purpose perspective okay so let me save this i did not save it mm. No. Okay, it is still saving. Let me. Yes. When we go, control. Oh. And. Uh, It's not servicing while it but it is opening with that class only and 
Let me open from here and I think something broken. So, okay, so we will say that public interface. Okay, and we will say I want to create a method. Public, sorry, sorry, not public. It will by default it will be public. Double, double percentage discount. Okay. Percentage discount. And continue. This continue belongs to a continue. Okay, it is not modified. Complete. Okay. After okay, let me do one thing. Let me close this all. New first class. Interface and let me create a method here double percentage like this. You can modify the any discontent until complete. I think some okay, I have to wait. Okay, <laughs> it is save and not finish request. Okay. For timing, we can start with SOQ. It is taking a time to save now because already one it is saving other some other class also. So it's giving mm -hmm. me error. So for timing, we can st start with SOQ and SOSL. Okay. So yeah. basic main topic is SOQ and SOSL only. So if I go with SOQ and SOSL. I will just continue this topic after some time. So, so firstly, SOSL. Okay. SOSL is a language which is used to search the data in your org. For example, if you want to search name, email ID, phone number. So it is used to search that data within your all the object. You means the, the goodness of this SOSL is that you can you can find all that name tags field from whole object, not, not from the single object. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and for example, if you want that, that let me show you that if you want, if right, fine. So it is a keyword that find is a keyword, which is used to write the SQL query. And the, and if you say it is stand for Salesforce. Salesforce object search search language. Okay. And when when you write means the syntax is if you want to find, I will write find. What you want to find? My name. You will write done. So what it will do, the syntax, what it means, it will find that within the all the objects. It can be account, it can be contact, it can be opportunity, it can be lead. So it will just find the name from all the fields. And the syntax, if I write, it is find. What do you want? What do you want to find? Search. Whatever you want to search. Okay. Search query you will write here. And 
from which search group you want to find. So you write in search group. Okay. Then you will write returning. So I will explain each and every line. Okay. See what it means. You don't want this data, this done. You want to search from all the object, not from specifically object, right? So you mm -hmm. will not write this line of code. This line you will not write. But you will mm -hmm. write, you will write only find search query. Search query is your done. Mm -hmm. a, if I run this, copy, control C. If I If I write query editor, it is visible. Mm -hmm. If I write, see, find done. So it is giving me, if you see my screen, it is giving yeah. me that it is an opportunity record, it is an contact record, it is an account record. See. Mm -hmm. And the, if I go, if I let me see. And the return type. If I say return type, what it returns? is it returns list of list of s object mm -hmm. okay so when uh, when you want to find the name you will write this way always start start with find okay mm -hmm. and if you want find that this if you want to find this name within some object but how you like you will write find In. Oh, I can see all the screen down. Okay. Yeah, why it is not showing up? All the screen, why it is not showing? Portion of the screen. Of the, of the... Okay, why it is not showing? Okay. It is visible? Yeah. Okay. So see, if you see when I write find done, what it's doing, it is just searching within the all the object. Mm -hmm. Okay. If I write done, okay. If I write done and in which field I want to find this, I want in the name field, we have a name field, right? Mm -hmm. And I will say returning R E T U R N returning lead so what it means that i want to find I, wa I want to find done value in the name field from where from the lead object right okay. if i execute this name it will say name field my token okay returning lead I say returning lead. Okay. So it is saying zero record. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if I want to find that name, I want to find the name in between your in between your that contact and account. I want two objects. You know, I want to search my name in account and contact. So how I will write find. Find done where I want to find in fields F I E L D fields in which fields I want to find returning or it you are returning okay lead. Lead name, name, okay, and I want font na contact name, contact, it is not showing field by. 
F E I L D F I L D S fields. In fields, why it is not taking fields? Malfoot says it is. And name I want to find. It's not taking this name. It is not taking this. I don't know why it is not taking. But how we just how we find this name with this fields find done in fields returning from where lead and contact. If I say this thing, if I it is fields or field something we are missing. Let me check. Okay. S O S L in all field. Okay, I'm just if I write Dan. D and done. Hello. Yeah. It is visible. Yeah. So see means basically what we are doing mistake there. Just we are not putting all fields here. We are just putting in fields, right? So that yeah. this keyword we are missing there. So basically, what what it means that find I want find done in all the fields. In means a set of fields. In all the fields, I want to find the name returning from where account and contact. And if you see here, it is showing me account and contact. Mm -hmm. If I remove this part, if I say I don't want to search in my account object, right? So what it will give me not this contact. It will give me only account records. Yeah. See. So so where exactly do you use this whole SOQ SSL in in your coding? Like, uh... so see when you want that when when you want that you it is a use for search language. For example, if you want that your mail ID you have number of records in your system, and you want that specifically that mail ID have how many records in the system. So what you will do, you will just pass what. You will pass your mail ID here, and you will just check in accounts mail ID. For example, if I want to say, if I want to say, Dan Singh Mehra triple one two at it gmail dot com, and if I write here email, and let me search, it is saying email is not a field. Okay, we don't have email. Let me name it with name only. So basically, when we use this now, when my business scenario is that when you when see we don't have any name with this. So basically, when we want that we want to that search that name, email, feed or phone. For example, if I have a number of records, right, and I I have a ten number of I have a thousand number of phone numbers on my screen okay and you want that you want to filter out your number which is mm -hmm. my record so so basically what we will what will be done you have given a checkbox you will give a text box on the above okay and the user will put input the user will put your number for example my my number is something 112345 right so what mm -hmm. user will do user will put their number 12345 here and it will search all the number which can which contain with one two three four five. Okay, and if for example, and if you want, and you want, if the, if you talk about a business scenario, you want that you don't want to create a lead, right? 
you want don't want to create a late if they are already mail id exists in the system so what you will do you will just search that mail id within the records okay if that mail id exists exists in the system it will return some record as it is returning like this 12 or 13 or something okay mm -hmm. that time you will just check if the record is greater than 12 you will not create you will not insert the mail id you will just throw an error this mail mail id already exists in the system and this particular query right do you use it in the apex classes or triggers or somewhere or yeah 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 so i will means i am covering this that only so this is a basically means how we are writing the query here okay, okay. Okay. So now in the Apex, how we are using this query? Let me. This is a enum type. I will cover this thing after some time. So, as I said, what it do? It will just return type. As I talked about return type, right? Mm -hmm. Return type is list of list of s object. Okay. So mm -hmm. it is a return type. Return type means as I told you, every function returns some value, right? So it returns list of s object, list of list of s object. Mm -hmm. What it means, for example, it what it means you will get a list of account. You can get a list of account, or you can get a list of contact. Understand? Yeah. it is saying list list means a container right mm -hmm. a container a container can have a list of s object so in 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 first list you have a list of account second you have a list of contact and it is it is a list because two item are coming inside this so it, understood yeah so see we are getting a list of account and contact while we are doing a sosl and it is all it is a list because we are having we we are having a two item here it is a first item is this and second item is this mm -hmm. okay this is a second item yeah so now if how i will write a query see list of list of s object why i am retaining the list of s object because i know that sosl returns only this type of list so always when you are writing your sql sosl sorry not sql sosl you will write this only you will store your data in this type only mm -hmm. understood yeah okay so i will say search list okay now if i say find okay and i want to find dan in all fields okay from where i want to find this account and contact so i will write returning returning means you can returning you can if you don't write returning it will just search in the whole object means account contact opportunity everyone and if you are specifying returning it means from which object you want to search so i am i am saying i want to search from account and account from account name field mm -hmm. understood yeah. and when i am saying contact from contact also i want to search contact first name first name comma last name okay See, I have written this. There, it is giving me missing all something. Okay, 
search list. No message, it is other, no missing in all of it. Let me do this. Control X. Now I want to print the value. Okay, so how I will printing debug debug here, and if I go. Okay, if I want to do this and I, I I want to see what data we are getting from this search query mm -hmm. system dot debug. Search list, okay. Find done in all of his returning account name or contact i think the field spelling is wrong there yeah? what uh the field in all fields f i e l d s yeah yeah that's a Okay, let me search now. And I will execute highlight it. And if you see, see, it is giving, it is giving me account. Okay. <laughs> and it is giving me lots of record. Let me print in my Apex class only. It is giving me lots of record. So let me print this value in the apex class only copy go to apex class and let me close this see let me copy so what i want to i want to see the data right so what how i will write i let me create a function we have a function also right we have a function inside day or not no we don't have a function Okay, so I will create a function public PUPL public static and what I want a string type of data um SOSL method. Okay, and I will print this method inside this cut paste see and i know i'm i will i will be getting my record right what records mm -hmm. i will be getting i will be getting an account record and contact record yeah. okay and if i say i want to use this contact account right why we are querying this why we are querying because i want to search for this contact and account Right. And if this account and contact exists, means some record we get. Right. So what we will do, as I told you, what we get a list of list of S object. Right. Mm -hmm. So this is a first list we will getting. Account list we will getting right. Dan can be, mean on account we can have number of Dan. So it will be two, three, four, five account can be there, right? So it will it will be a list of account yeah. okay and contact can be also two or three four or five so what you will be we will get a number of contacts also right mm -hmm. so it is one and two means it is a list because we are getting more than one item so it will be a list right so mm -hmm. if i want to tra traverse this data so how i will be traversing list or we can say account it is a list okay and i say search account search acc so what it means 
आई वॉन्ट टू स्टोर माई लिस्ट ऑफ अकाउंट ओके एंड हाउ आई विल बी यूजिंग दिस इज सर्च लिस्ट गॉट इट एंड आई नो ऑन दिस सर्च लिस्ट आई विल बी हैविंग माई अकाउंट दिस अकाउंट राइट this one first one will be the account list right because we are searching for account so i and i know it returns a list of list of s object so yes. it will be my first account right it will it will be my first indexing mm -hmm. if you any doubt na just ask me okay means black no hello no follow me no, okay so if i say Account. So, what it means, na? What it means? We are just want first, first item, and first item. What we know that we will be having that account. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. And for second, what we will be writing? Contact. Contact. Hmm. Then search con search con equals to contact search contact. Hmm. Then search. what are we writing? This one. Same search this or one. something else? Yeah, search is one. I will write one. Yeah. Because. I know this is a list only, right? Hmm. And I know first I am just querying account, then we am querying contact. Okay. Yeah. If I want to, let me return also. Let's return. Return. You understand this part or not? If you any doubt, just go ahead. No, I understood that. Yeah. Okay. Good, na. So what yeah. we are doing? Just we got a search list. Out from the searches, we are getting account. We are getting contact mm -hmm. and account list. Okay. Yeah. But I want that account and contact list should be set on some specific as object you got. right because i can't traverse account and contact in a one go mm -hmm. so what i'm doing i'm storing account of account record in one list and contact records in one list yeah. okay now how i will be trans trans means how i will be iterating this loop as you know for see for and i know this is a list of Accounts. accounts right list of account account acc comma search of all account it is just like let me explain you it is just like we have list of number integer integer total name number List equals to new list of integer integer. See, so this is just like a integer list, right? Now, mm -hmm. if I want to iterate this list, I will say total for, and I know this each item will be my integer, right? So what what I will write integer dot r dot list of integer right yeah. and in r what i will be having for example if i say i have this 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma like this i have a number so this mm -hmm. number list will contain 1 2 3 4 5 5 and for loop means that this means this r will contain first atom then second atom then third atom then fourth atom got it so yes. similarly what we are doing we have account list mm -hmm. okay 
and this list is type of account so we are writing account acc mm -hmm. okay now if i want to print system dot debug my my name my name my name is and i want to print name so how i will be printing acc dot name and because i know on this acc acc is a s object right mm -hmm. this account is a s object and in, in this s object we have number of fields yes. right in account we have name address yes. right we have number of fields so that field i want to access so how i will be getting this field this variable name account variable name which we are declaring yeah. dot field name okay okay yeah understood, understood. yeah okay if any doubt now please ask huh? because it will be interesting for you all you also and for me also to teach okay yeah, i'm able to follow thank you okay see now second same thing i want to do for contact, contact. so i will this one and i will write contact list and i will say okay and this acc i will convert to con no worries we can write acc also but to understand okay and i want fi first name okay yeah. and i want last name so what i will write last name also. like this if i want to run this line of code see i how i will means how i i will means write this sorry run this code demo okay dot my functions name copy Actually, if I go my debug log, if you see, it is eighteen. Right, first it is printing account loop. My name is dancing fourteen, then thirteen, then twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Mm -hmm. This is your account loop. Yeah. Okay. Then what we are printing? Account first name Dan. Account last name Mehra. Mm -hmm. First name Nal. Second name is Tess. But the first name is Nal. Second last name is Tess. Yeah. So basically, you understand you understand the purpose of this SOSL or not? Basically, mm -hmm. when we are using this SOSL to search your data in the system. Yeah. Basically, it is used for searching your Tax email phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Understood. Yeah. So, what is the written test to be done? Like written test, we put a written. Yeah, test. written test. Why we have written? Because I have said that this method will be returning some as returning something. Returning means this we define a return type here. Yeah. We say we say na that access modifier the writing of method name. Matter syntax access modifier, modifier. Then we say, then we say return type, return type. Then method name, method, method name. So as 
this is a syntax of writing the method. So basically, first we define the access modifier, which I am defining public, right? Mm -hmm. Then I define the return type. Then it is a return type of a string. Then I am defining my method name. Yeah. If I don't write return na, it will give me error. What error it will give? You have missing the return type state statement require return type string. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. So this is a basically a SOS SOS SOSL part means basically how we just find the data in the system. It is a that use case for finding the data or finding the name integer means if for example if you want the API if you want to make an API and in API you want that this mail ID exists on the system or not if you say that mail ID exists in the system you will just return that yeah this already exists in the system please enter some other mail right for example see if you understand means you means you have also idea in the business we have just some page okay it it is an external page. Okay, mm -hmm. and some some user comes to my page, and he enter for login. He enters some mail ID, right? Mm -hmm. He 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 enters some mail ID and and just want to create a new account. Mm -hmm. So if if that person is already coming second time on on my page, so I will just he will enter this mail ID, and I will just check in my system first that the user is already exit my system or not. If I say that mail ID exists in my system, I will run this method to check. The mail ID exists or not? So, if the mail ID exists my system, so I will say you are you are already a customer. Please enter correct mail ID or something else means that means enter the mail ID or something that. Otherwise, the, if the record not exists in my system, that mail ID does not exist. I will just proceed further. Mm. Otherwise, mm. I, I will stop that user there only, and I will say you are already a, a old customer or just insert a new mail id so with that help we will get a more lead right it will just one or two it will not a duplicate data in the system right right that's so good right. yes. so this is a part of sosl mm -hmm. now if we talk about soql mm, soql it will take a time for to complete soql so let Come not to secure tomorrow. Uh, I can I can I ask you some more questions on yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So you're saying the use case which you just mentioned, right? Like uh, a user is coming in and he's doing all these things, right? That's fine. But you know, if you are if you want on experience cloud or community cloud, then mm, that yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And let's say that I want to find a report or or a, or a user on, on those community cloud pages. Mm. So this one, uh, will it work on the community cloud pages as well? So it's a, like what, what is the language or what is that they use on the community cloud pages? Is it different? Yeah, or? so basically it works. See, community, if you know about it, means you definitely know about the community. Community is like a portal for us, right? It is a, it is a, it gives a user interface or portal like interface to you. Just get, get like a web page. It will just give a web page. And that web page which we create is all, all our customization one, right? Basically, mm -hmm. most of our, most of community pages are customization one. So that page is, is created through a lightning web component. Right. Okay. Yep. Lighting web component, and as you discuss about the report, right? So, mm -hmm. for example, if I create a lightning page for the community portal, okay, mm -hmm. and I want that if I want that that portal, if I want if I want to show that report, right? Some report I want to show. Some so user will put a some input on that lightning page, right? We will just create a UI like that. User will input some input. So mm -hmm. on the input basis, I will return a this type of data something yeah. and this data i will just show on the ui so it will mm -hmm. become a report for you in the back end it i have put a logic but as a user see this data it will like a report for him yeah any doubt means if any doubts i can no no that's that explains very good and another question which i had uh uh dan is like you know how we keep on talk, 
talking about uh, controllers, classes, triggers, and all this SOPL, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So if, if I'm simple language, right? Let's say that if you're putting a hierarchy or a cascade, mm -hmm. what you should always have an Apex class and the trigger and everything will be under the Apex class. Like how, how does it, how does this whole structure work? Like you need to have a class, you need to have a trigger. So can you have a class without a trigger or you, like what is a mandatory See, yeah. see, I means I'll basically see we can write our logic inside the trigger also. The whole this code thing I can write on a trigger also. But mm -hmm. with the best practices, what we do, we write just on a trigger. We just means means just inside the triggers, and we have service class and we have a handler class. So basically, mm -hmm. to to read for the read readable code. We just use service classes. Service classes not only are Apex classes. What we will do, we will just create a trigger on account and we will just pass a map or list of that record only. We will not put all this logic on that Apex class, sorry, on that trigger. We will just create a handler class. In the handler class, what we will do, we will pass a list of data. Just passing of data we will do from the trigger, not we will not put a logic. Okay. So when you're saying that we can write this in a trigger, right? Like for, for me, when I first when we had this session, right? Mm -hmm. Triggers are for the database layer and uh, this classes or services are for the business logic layer, right? Now, how do we end? Should I write a class or a trigger? So my question is like, what is mandatory to have? And in, so triggers are independent of classes and class. Yeah, language. yeah. It is mean it is not mandatory that when you are writing the trigger, you have to write a class. Is it not mandatory? You can write your logic in trigger itself. Not mandatory to write Apex class. Okay. And LWC is a totally separate because because for me yeah. it's important to understand how all how like see what should I write? Yeah, so basically see. See, you are trigger is a different part. Means mm -hmm. trigger is an automation automating tool. Means automation with the trigger we do automation. Okay, and lightning component is a different thing for the UI perspective. You means right. that lightning component trigger have no relation. Mm -hmm. It don't have any relation. And if you say a packs and trigger have a relation, they are not tightly coupled. They are loosely coupled. Loosely coupled means that it they are in the it is not dependent to each other. Means you can write a trigger without an Apex class. But the best best practices says that when you are writing a trigger, write a handler class or service class. So, so for example, I have a twenty developer in my company, right? And I have a one case. I have a I have one trigger case. So all will write a code on that trigger. It will like a some after a time after after a time it will like a like a whole code on a same same trigger right mm -hmm. so to handle that thing it will not be a possible way so what we will do in the apex class you will just create a method wise for example i want to insert a record i will just write a method insert a record if I, someone mm -hmm. seems other developer want to update the record he will write his own method update the record otherwise yeah. others some user wants to delete the record he will write delete the record so for their requirement wise, they will create a method in the Apex class. And mm -hmm. we can't create a method in the in this trigger. So that's why we are using Apex class. Okay. Okay. Can, I, can I tell you one use case? And I just want to understand how, if you write a class or a trigger, actually it should be a trigger, but let's say that there's a user and one of the business requirement is something like this, right? Like if the user doesn't log into the system for the last 90 days, we need to deactivate that user. Okay. Not no. logged in 90 days, then? If the user doesn't log in last 90 days, we need to deactivate the user. Okay, so okay. That's, that's a business requirement. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, the process builder of flow might not work with this one. Mm. My question is, like, it's an, it's an automation kind of a task. Right? So we write a trigger for it? Yeah. So okay. basically, what we can check... We are, huh? we can check that whenever we can means it is different. See, if we think about like this, it is like a automation only. You want to check that user is logged in or not, right? Mm. From 90 days, he's logged in or not. So mm. what you will check, you will check that login condition you will check, right? Mm. 
this customer is logging from last login you can check login history that it is logged from 19 days or not if that mm-hmm. list is not greater than 0 what you will do you will just update on user you you have a user object right we have a mm-hmm. user object in salesforce you will just update that object that make this uh, that field deactivated mm-hmm. 